have you been asleep? I have quite a lot. Yeah, so you've been snoring. <laughs> yeah, I've only recently just woken up really. Mm. It's about half past five. We went to bed quite late, didn't we, really? Yeah, it was gone half ten. Watched a load of YouTube. Mm. Mm. I'd say this is the worst weather we've been in, haven't you? Yeah, I think so. It's um, intermittent, but when it comes, it's really ferocious. Welcome back to the channel. This is where we spent last night, right on the edge of the Yorkshire Dales. If you watched the last episode, then you will already know that we had some pretty miserable weather. But this morning, things are seeming brighter. Ended up sleeping not too badly with the wind shaking the van around. I made a mistake though when we arrived. I didn't get out and check the wind direction properly. I guesstimated it from inside the van and in fact it was blowing on the back of the van all night. It's half past ten and we're just pulling off. Am I clear left? Clear. That's the Yorkshire Dales National Park. Just entered it. Yeah. So what do you think of that night then, Charlie? That was a rough night, wasn't it? It's blimey. I think that was the roughest night we've ever had with the wind. Yeah. And then it was blowing, driving, driving rain onto the van and really shaking. It's horrendous. Well, I managed to sleep quite a bit. Yeah. But it was the shaking that was like, yeah. <laughs> like, like a giant noise. got hold of the van. And yeah. Giving it a good shake, isn't it? And really? the noise the wind made was horrendous. Yeah. So I was certainly awake up till we um, actually got up about half past five, didn't we, to film a bit? Yeah, that's right. And then after that, it must have died down a bit because I went back to sleep until we yeah. woke up at nine o'clock. Yeah. I think we'll move on. We've only come. Yeah. 200 minutes. yards up the road, didn't we? Just get a little shot. White, what's it called? White, White Scar, Scar Cave. Caves. Don't really fancy a cave today, Another do you, cave Bunny? tour, no. No. It's the longest show cave in Britain. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> do you think? I'm sorry, you... folks. I'm sorry. We just, after our night last night, we're just not in the mood for doing much at the moment. No. We've just got cruising about. And we had a late start, so we've got catching up to do. Yeah. Here comes the rain. Looks nice up there with a bit of sun, doesn't it? Sun on the top of the scar. Alright, this will do us for breakfast. <laughs> Nice little spot. Nice, nice view. view. Yeah. 
thank you. Thanks for making these, Charlie. You're very welcome. They look delicious, don't they? Yeah. Two bacon rolls. Uh, but obviously we've hit the road now this morning and it's, it's really bad. So we just pulled up by Halfords because we've noticed that our screen isn't really clearing and our temperature gauge is sort of like struggling to kind of like get to the middle sort of like it normally does. So we think we've run out of cooling. the uh, Ribble Valley Railway Viaduct, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know if there'll be any trains running today. It's no. they're all cancelled because of the storm. How do you know, Charlie? Mm -hmm. gonna lie it's absolutely freezing out here and the wind is strong but I've turned it down so you don't have to listen to it only a little bit of snow left up on those hills but boy doesn't it look lovely when the Sun catches the landscape like that Just my luck to miss the train on the bridge, but I couldn't stand the cold any longer. Okay, we're out of here. Let's see where we end up next. This is the sort of photography I like, where you can just nip out, get some shots, yeah. and then get back into the wall. I don't know what are all these guys doing down here. No, maybe the Flying Scotsman's due along here today. Um, oh, I should think these are all guys that have been fixing power yeah, lines. Oh, yeah, they're down, they're aren't they? guys, aren't they? They're not film crews. No. All these lots of looking at They're electricity at. people. Oh, I see. Damage, sir. Yeah. To what? I don't know, really. It's the station in. Everyone's standing and pointing upwards. Where we parked when we came before, it. Yeah. abandoned cottage here or something. Let's see if we can take a look at it. It's pretty sheltered here. One of the things about van life is if you've got high winds, if you've got an app that shows you contour lines, you can use that to find little hollows where you can hold up because you only have to get below the ridge of a hill and it's perfectly calm. We just had a lot of damage on our roof. Well, not a lot of damage, tiny amount of damage. I like this place, absolutely wrecked now. And look at this little stream here. Oh, look at that old bridge. That's in better days as well, isn't it? river splits here into two. Somebody will tell me what those hills are, I'm sure. Sorry, but I don't know. Somebody will tell us in the comments <coughs> what those big hills were. You think it's Wernside? Well, Wernside's in that direction just behind us. Oh, I don't right. know how close they were to us. Waiting. I learned to love the look 
And I can read your signs We're jumping on the first bus Don't need no one to save us We're pulling up the curtain That covers this blue sky Oh, tell me, can you feel We're floating in the air We are men and birds Floating through the night clouds Setting sails up high and wide Let us carry our plans In the dust That a fan can hold us Just to spark You can be a bit disconcerting when watching a YouTube video, not stopping at a giveaway sign when you can't see what's coming from the left, but I can assure you it was clear. Wensleydale Cheese Visitor Centre. Mm -hmm. This is the town of Hawes and we're going to stretch our legs here. So it looks like we've got a train station and a museum here. Bunny's got the parking ticket, now we can have a walk around the town. Seems like we've got a river here. Whoa! Low lamp in it, that one there for 50 quid. It's a little propellers, look. Oh, what are they from? I don't really Bikes. know. Bikes. There's some hardy folk up here because it's absolutely freezing and they're having their snack outside. Maybe it's because they've got a dog. Hawes is the market town of Upper Wensleydale and it once enjoyed an important position on the 18th century Lancaster to Richmond Turnpike Road. Apparently a local delicacy is deep fried Wensleydale cheese. Carol's in there, getting us some more sweets for the jar. of somewhere for a warm-up. I don't want any deep-fried cheese but I wouldn't mind a plate of chips. Thank you. Hot chocolate chai. Thank you. Got marshmallow. That's what they want. Yeah. Oh. I feel a photograph coming on. It's mm -hmm. nice chips. Oh. You managed it. Eh? Yeah, no trouble at all. It's going down really well. <laughs> nice and warm now. Good. We can recommend the Penny Garth Cafe. Down to earth and very reasonably priced. 
wonder if this is a real water pump or a fake. Time to get going, I think. I enjoyed this place. Nice little walk around. Oh, that's a quaint little town, wasn't it? Yeah. Nice little coffee shop. So Maybe I'll drive on the right side of the road. Drive stick to the left. A684 to Kendall. So it's because this is the one way, and then we've got to keep going straight up. Past that and garage then at the past top. Past the garage, and then bear right. Okay. Just see all the little sheep putting their noses up. Yeah. So they must have two layers in there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The road ahead, it twists and turns And the sun beats down and it burns But I keep, keep on pushing through And every step So we've topped up the sweetie jar Bought some of these wrapped winter mixtures But you love this me back to solid ground. Yeah, I get up. As we rounded the bend we spotted this very impressive viewpoint. Other people had stopped so we thought we'd join them. Motorhomers. Ah, this is the council's pothole oh. collection link. We haven't been to this museum, oh my have gosh. we? There's some big ones here. There's some big ones. Yeah. In fact, I'd go so far as to say this is the most impressive collection we have, we ever, have seen. ever seen. Yeah. Oh, superb. Over the edge. This will do us, won't it? Yeah. This far and no further. This motorhome came in and I noticed a pipe hanging underneath it. So I went up and told the guy, but he already knew. You know the places that I is mine a
with murky miles ahead. Right, that's enough of windmills. Time to move on and have a look at Kendall Castle. Castle was built in the 12th century and it sits atop a glacial drumlin which is basically an elongated hill in the shape of a spoon or egg. Go, they'll find you in the glen. The horsemen close in. Tasty. Yeah. I've got a special chow mein. And we can't be bothered to cook tonight, can we, Charlie? No. Something quick. So we're both in Kendall. And we're going to try camping in Kendall tonight. We've got our eye on somewhere, haven't we, Bunny? Here we have. It's a place with the thing on the wall. Thing on the wall on the right hand side, yeah. These old buildings here. Where's it got? Is it down this one? I thought it was. Well, maybe there's another street like this. Maybe, yeah. See it. This is the place we had in mind. A little car park right down by the river in Kendall. But uh as we were doing our checks, we noticed a few things that made us move on. Turned out that this place was a little meeting place for local youths and they sit on the step just on the right hand side. So we ended up moving to plan B. So this is our spot for the night. All being well, looks like there's a path there on the left. I can see two people walking down the other side of that hedge. We got caught out here, but if you want to see what happens, join us next time for more adventures from the Little Red Camper.